good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's take a look outside. We have gotten quite a bit of snow, as you guys can see. The road is, or this place is really slushy. It's still snowing. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but it is still snowing and it slowed down though it's not as heavy as it was but it's definitely still snowing out there and uh so yeah i got going this morning it was still kind of dark when i took off and uh went down here to the customer which was only like i don't know 10 15 minutes drive got down here and i didn't have a pickup number so no, I'm kind of screwed. I, I didn't have a pickup number, so I've been sitting there for two hours before dispatch finally got me a pickup number. Now I went in there, and they can't get a hold of the uh, shipping department over there to figure everything out because uh, this bad snowstorm that we got through here. Like, I kid you not, I probably had like 8 or 10 inches of snow on my hood. Uh, it, got, uh, it must have snowed pretty heavily overnight here, so... Anyhow, so now there, I think they're still uh, clearing the snow at the docks and stuff like that. So we're uh, there's another penner right there. He's also waiting uh, to get loaded as well, life loaded. So yeah, it sounded like it's gonna be a few hours before we get loaded here. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I think I'm gonna go fire up my uh, uh, little cooking uh, pot there, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and cook me a stew or something. I'm starting to get hungry so don't really feel like eating a sandwich today so figure may as well cook me something if I'm gonna be sitting here right why not let's get to it alrighty guys it's been one of those days oh, yeah, I gotta I gotta put myself off duty yet here on my uh, Qualcomm here I did a little bit of drive in here I had to go uh, drop my trailer and boy oh boy that was bad <laughs> i should have definitely not done that that's for sure but hey we had to do it we had to do it right so uh i uh, got stuck over there and finally uh, one of their big uh machine to clear the snow came and, and i had gotten out but like just enough to get back on the road but that's where i got stuck again so then they cleared the parking lot finally and then he gave me a little bit of a push and we were able to get out no problem but anyways that was quite an experience so now in the meanwhile i got me my stew ready yeah and it sounds like it's gonna be a couple of hours before i even get loaded if i even get loaded today so anyhow we're back at the shipping office here or security i guess you could say and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and have me my good lunch. Haven't had anything to eat yet, too, so yeah, let's go eat. All right, you guys, we have finally gotten loaded, and that took forever to get get everything straightened out over there. But we finally got it. Now it's kind of like drizzling or whatever you want to call it. It's almost like we're gonna get some ice rain or something that's what it feels like now we got a million lights and every goddamn one of them is red I gotta come to stop at every single one of them so far but anyways we got our load so our day is fantastic <laughs> we're back at it again that's just as simple as that goes anyhow I don't know how bad the road is going to be further down the road, but Ontario generally does take good care of their road, so uh, I'm not really too worried about it. Plus, I'm not going to be going on Highway 17 too much longer. I'll be uh, traveling uh, along uh, Highway 11. Reason being is because uh, it's actually shorter because that way I take the shortcut over there to go to uh, Montreal and so uh, I just don't know why in the world my GPS is having a hard time it does not want to route me to go to that place 
some odd reason it doesn't even want me to road 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 me up to uh, Montreal I even typed in Montreal and it won't even road me up to there it's like are you kidding me so there's got to be somewhere a stretch where for some odd reason the GPS is thinks that there is some sort of either uh, weight restriction or some stupid reason because it's never done that before and it just keeps saying it cannot find the route it just will not route me there no matter what if I'm even if I'm typing on it that I'm empty it still won't route me there <laughs> it still says that I can't find a route it's like oh, are you serious but anyways here we go we're finally getting out of Thunder Bay and they have cleaned the roads pretty good and this is what I was saying like Ontario is very very good about cleaning their roads right and this just goes to show you right here and I can see already the light up ahead is red too <laughs> yeah I mean now they're further apart and this is the last one before we get out of Thunder Bay but it's red it's red <laughs> I might change over to green just before we get there there we go now it changed over to green but this is the first one I actually can drive through it looks like for right now all the other ones I had to come to a complete stop but look at how narrow this is right here this is you know they got so much snow they they don't know where to go with all of that snow right but anyways let's hammer down and see how far we can get tonight I have no idea how the road is going to be further down the road or if they closed any roads or anything like that I haven't really seen any reports of that yet but then again you never know you never know usually it gets shut down on highway 17 so hopefully it's not as bad up there on highway 11 while I was checking the radar earlier it didn't look that bad uh, for highway 11 it looked like they were going to miss most of the snow so that kind of makes it nice but anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and get on down the road and continue what we do. I have just turned on to Highway 11, ladies and gentlemen, here by Nipigon. Yep. And now we're kind of driving alongside the river or lake or whatever you want to call it up here, right? And uh, I figured I'd show you guys a little bit that this road. Uh, looks to me like it's a little bit better than what the uh, Highway 17 was and so now we're uh, kind of by ourselves over here uh, earlier we had a couple of trucks ahead of us slowing us down a little bit but now we're uh, past them they turned off or I was able to pass one of them anyways and uh, so now we're in the clear right now but yeah we'll see how far we can make it tonight my goal would be to make it up to Kappa's casing tonight but that's a long ways away yet that's probably like five hours away yet at least four and a half but yeah we'll see we'll see it's starting to get darker again so meaning we'll be losing daylight here in a minute well I don't know if in a minute but shortly right but anyhow Let's continue on cruising along here and see what happens. Hopefully this road is going to stay like it is right now. If it stays like this, I got absolutely nothing to worry about. This road is fine. This is normal winter driving up here, right? But uh, up where we uh, loaded this morning, they hadn't cleaned all their uh, drop yard uh, lot and all of that yet. So it was uh, quite challenging to navigate through there. So it looks like this lake is not even frozen yet for the most part I saw some open spots yet so hopefully people don't get stupid and go on there already and break through the ice and drown right that would be dangerous but I like the nice covered uh, snow covered trees up here that's always nice to look at I know the screen is a little bit dark right now so I might have to uh, take that uh, filter off of there but you know I'm driving right so I don't really want to do that right now 
anyhow, let's continue on and uh, see what uh, what will happen for us tonight. See how far we can make it, right? All right, guys, we did eventually end up making it up to Kappa's casing. Yes, indeed. And there was tons of parking up here. I kept checking the app and uh, it kept saying that nobody's updating it. So uh, basically, uh, the last time it was updated was like three hours ago, right? And uh, so now it's the next morning, actually. I got really tired. By the time I finally got down here, I I basically went straight to bed. So uh, we still got quite a bit of... Uh, snow happening uh, throughout uh, you know my journey there uh, last night I uh, basically uh, had a ton of snow on the road and everything so a lot of snow got built up underneath my trailer and stuff like that so I'll show you that later on uh, what that looks like but anyways I just went in here and took me a good shower now we're all shaved and smell good we feel good we are ready to go again and i do believe there is the other penner uh truck is sitting over there that was at the yard there yesterday too when we was getting our load and uh so i guess he got here even later than me but i know over there there was still parking there when i got here so i'm sure he uh managed to find the parking spot i don't even think this flying j got full last night some days it is and some days it isn't so yesterday was my lucky day but anyways I know it's a short vlog, but we sat pretty much all day, right? So what am I going to show you? Same thing? Not really. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. Come back tomorrow and see what we can show you tomorrow. So have a great day, and we'll see you here again tomorrow.